intervals um, are one or unison, And um, the perf and then there's also a, a subcategory of consonant, which is the perfect um, intervals, which are the one, four, five, and eight. And then the third and sixth are infinite. And amazingly enough, this has more points than that. So. <laughs> 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 so is just some rapid fire or something? No, oh, absolutely. Oh. which uh, in general music theory we consider a chord three or more notes. So interval uh, is not that fair. We just consider them two notes. But, and there's, there's more than this, but I'm just going to do it because uh, it's involved in this way. So now I'm going to talk about uh, the four different kinds of uh, chords. So we have a major chord, a minor chord, augmented, Um, these are the, the four chords that you come uh, across, and there are different chords built off like intervals of the fourth or different things, but these are the ones that I have in So, a major consists of um, three, uh, two, two intervals, one that is a major third, and then a minor third. It looks like um, uh, this right here where we have a C and E and G because uh, the difference between the C and the E in major and the difference between the E and the G is minor. And it sounds like this is because you hear more slapping. A major uh, third is the distance between um, C and E, and it involves four half steps, I think. scale, the distance between a C and an E is major. And the, the, the distance between every two of these is major. Or, I mean, sorry. Um, like, uh, you see the major is perfect, actually. So a unison is a perfect interval. So in a scale, this is uh, when I'm writing out to the four. Have, these are 
are still perfect intervals. So the rest of these are, and this is um, this is now a minor third, a minor six, and a minor seven. So a minor third has When you think about it, uh, the only difference, the difference between uh, majors and minors is that the major third is bigger by a half step because it's going to be slower because it's a flat. So that's actually the difference. Uh, oh, that's the second. The second? Because you don't have the, the flat one? Right? No, there's actually not. It's actually the opposite. Oh, okay. Uh, there are different, like, uh, different modes. Where Second, except in the lower grand, which is special, it's not used very often. So you just really don't want to start using it. Is so a minor second just a half step? <laughs> minor second is Actually, that's how we learn, uh, how you would learn um, different intervals is by doing a song that goes with it. Like a perfect fourth is da 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 da. Uh, major six is my body, my overview. So back to chords. Um, a major scale uh, or a major chord is a major third plus a minor third, and that is um, the perfect the, the, the chord that is built off um, the tonic or the first beat of our uh, our scale is a major chord, and so. Is every other one that is built off of first, fourth, fifth, and octave, which are our perfect intervals as well. So this is major six. And a minor scale is exactly is kind of the opposite. It's a minor third plus a major third. And the way that um Minor plus a major. Right. See, because um, by flatting the, the E now, the distance between the E flat and the G is different. Yeah. That's not major. And then when we have augmented chord, it is two majors together. And sound. Only when we don't have a, a flatted um, beat. There are different, uh, actually, there are different. 